All right, countdown again down to the 10 seconds here. Classes is up. Everyone looking like Commander O'Neill, the Mac Daddy of Castle Soul. Uh, welcome in, everyone. Welcome into the first match of the day. Reset and everything. Uh, Center Square looking like Morgoth's Great Rune. Another late game. That is interesting. This board Ooh. is all over the place. Godfrey's bag. Consumable only is also back on it again. P but this time we have another rushable square with uh, kill market with four parries as well as Commander O'Neill. I uh, kill a boss with spirit ashes. Yeah, this. I, I, I'll be honest. I'll be honest. I like this uh, board much more. We have four memory stones in the corner, bottom left. We have a quiet Dactus medallion. Um, I like this. I like this. It's a good mix out of early and mid game interview late games it's not it's like like how much altus do we have this time uh it's definitely not as much as what i would say a lot you have you have no. radon without summons you have mimic tier which is after radon you've got morgot uh you know makar you could do for dragon heart bosses so that gives you altus access uh, i mean yeah but you don't have to do that. that's, that's uh, on top then. of that um it's like four or five that, I mean, that compared to yeah, the last no, that's, board, that's true. Uh, compared to the, uh, yeah, yeah, compared to the other board, I agree. Yeah, it's not as much. That's fair. That's uh, fair. Can we get one maybe on big screens just to see the classes? Uh, seems like there is a bandit with a Uchi Katana and, and Eleonora's Blade. Yeah. We're going back to the samurai, ladies and gentlemen. Fourteen vigor. That's not bad. That's really good. Ten strength. Thirteen decks. Thirteen decks again. A little bit low maybe for the consumable only kill, but. Uchi Katana looking absolute fucking juicy. Yeah, it's looking really, really solid here. Uh, probably going to be the pick that also Bushy is going to go for, in my guess. Uh, just I mean, because the other Uchi, I, I think I've showcased this a couple of times in practice mode that whenever I got the Uchi early squares, early squares gone, just done. It's, well, it's so powerful. It's just yeah. absolutely a beast in early game. And Aggie knows that. Season one, man. Like, that's all he did, you know, was was Uchi into Bloodhound, Uchi into Stormhawk, Uchi into Leaf on a Stick, you know. But uh, I, I, we'll, we'll see if uh, we'll see if Bushy sees the same what thing, you know. Seems like seems like Bushy is not going for that. Seems yeah, like Bushy is going for the Vagabond uh, having a shield already and the Warhawk something sort i'm not Warhawk sure what the name it's, is. it's the bird talons uh yeah it's not a great sword i think but no. at least has a shield for, the, for market yeah that's I great think, i think that's why he's prioritizing it he's going to be rushing that market plus four parries um mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah it's gonna be interesting yeah. okay prep time ends in five four three two one Match is starting, Bingo Brawler and season here two. We go. Both of them Round loading one, in match now. Day two. Lil Aggie versus Bushy the second. This time without mods. This time without smoking. But with a lot of bingus. I like that both go for a different class. So far we always had all of them going for the same class. It's going I agree. to be interesting. I uh, it'll be very nice. And also, I think uh, seeing the choices here are going to be cool, too, because we already have the different classes. That probably also means different routing automatically. Yeah. If you have different yeah. classes, most of the time that means they're going to be doing different things. So it looks like uh, Bushy's actually on heavy load, by the way, with that armor. Uh, going to be taking oh, off yeah, those shoes real quick. <laughs> um, I, I would assume that uh, Aggie is going for the consumable only kill again, and I bet Bushy's going to skip that this time and goes for market right away. And um, that consumable only square is just on the board uh, in a little bit of a better position with being in the diagonal. Um, but it's not bad to have any. So we will see if... Good for Bushy is if he's not going for that Bofa. Um, with consumable only, he could maybe just pivot it later to with Spirit Ash only. Yeah. And I think it's also going to be interesting to see... So Aggie likes to do this strat where he likes to let people pick on who does Godric and what they do with it. If there's multiple Remembrance kill squares, uh, he will let the uh, enemy player pick first, and then he'll work with whatever is left over. Uh, that's, a, that's a very common tactic of being like, okay, so you already used Claws on Godric. Now I don't have to do that. Now I don't have to go past Gostock and grab that drop or try and get lucky and find something. And I can focus on a different mm -hmm. one instead. 
and also just keep that in the back of your head. Okay, they already finished Godric. I, I can use that as more information to play into these other squares on top of that. Seems like Aggie is going for that Kale with the daggers, and Bushy is skipping it. Going right straight to that graceful torrent. Probably moving to uh, market right away. Does the shield already has parry on it? Uh, I'm unsure. The rickety if shield? Not, I believe it does. I'm I'm like half and half. I'm going to say 60%, I think. It, it has. Six but if it in doesn't, case, you can just go to Bernal real quick and grab that parry exactly. Ash of War from Bernal, and then you're good to go. Or you could also go in the direction to the Yornia with the bridge. There's a little scarab, or uh, is there a scarab, or do you just pick it up? There is Stormwall, which is an Ash of War you can pick, put on your shield as well um, to parry Margaret. I've heard, I've heard that that's also like the newest option is going for that Stormwall Ash of War or Storm mm -hmm. Shield, whatever. Some Something. volume. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. And we'll see, actually, too, uh, too if Aggie's going to check that Greatsword chest. I'm actually very surprised. I don't think the players have been checking the Greatsword chest as much as they used to in practice when they realized that you can get Alabaster's Lord Sword from that chest mm -hmm. uh, right next to the Grace here. You can get uh, Death's Poker. You can get uh, a bunch of other gr uh, fantastic Greatswords. I mean, even just Lord Sword and Greatsword, which you normally actually get in that chest, uh, is a fantastic weapon. Aggie is just running past it. I mean, he has the Uchi. Uchi's he does have the Uchi. <laughs> yeah. uh, he does need a great sword, apparently. Um, and it seems like that Bushy is going towards... Is he going towards Caleb and wants to go for Commander or Neil right away? Which is, looks by like the way, it. also really good. What? Huh? I said looks like it. Okay. Which is all... Stop that! Just go ahead! <laughs> Which is really good because if he gets Commander O'Neill, he also has a really good weapon check with the Halberd. Yesterday we got the Dragon Halberd. We were able to see with NPT and CBD getting the Dragon Halberd. Pretty strong weapon. So yep. let's see, but he gets smacked by some rats. Oh, good old rat jam rich. here. Chat just not leaving Bushy alone. All Wait, the fans blocking the door. Do you not have rat jam? I can write you. I can see you. What's because of uh, the chat? I don't know. I see everyone spamming red gem and I can't see that's sad. Anyways. It's 7 TV. Um No. But the question is like what is what is Aggie going for? So we know already that, that Bushy is gonna go for oh. that commander O'Neill cheese. Aggie currently now in Mistwoods, I believe. If my eyes don't deceive me. I play a lot of Elden Ring Geoguesser. Did you play a lot of Elden Ring Geoguesser, Billy Zoodle? Uh, yeah, when it came out a little bit, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I tried to beat Stau Chris's time in, 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 in some category, and I was not even getting close, and then I got mad. I had I had three world records for three days. Paul? And, oh. and then they were gone. <laughs> so, mm. Was it also Chris again? Uh. No, it wasn't. It was actually Gino. Gino took away my... my, my nah. <laughs> My world records. Of course. Say. <laughs> uh, Dead guy. <laughs> <laughs> but it looks like that. Right. Yeah, so it's definitely Commander O'Neill on Bushy's side here. I wonder. It looks like that actually uh, Aggie's rushing Dectus. Which can be really good. Yeah, it's, really it's, good. it is the it's row five right? here. It is row five. Uh, acquire full Dectus, row five, column four. Mm -hmm. Right here for anyone else that doesn't see it. So I, I'm assuming he's just going for full Dectus because Altus is definitely not bad in this case. It's nice. So Bushy is now on the branch. He has a metal weapon. I explained it yesterday already, but oh, feel free to explain that again. For this strat, it's very important to have a metal weapon to hit the branch. You have to consin consistently, continuously, hyperbole hit the branch there with a metal weapon, otherwise O'Neill will run away and it's not getting babooshed. And you really want him to get babooshed. Um, so make sure to have a metal weapon for this while Aggie is climbing a ladder. Woo! Here we go, Commander O'Neill making his way over the hill now, starting to get prepared to be babooshed for a good three minutes. <laughs> oh, God. I still feel like that that when we watched uh I believe was it NPT that was on the ground? Yeah. 
I, I still think that that's faster. Like I said, that one cycle is, is faster than uh, when you... Yeah, uh, but really, it was definitely faster. He arrived later and almost catched up. Yeah. Um, but it's definitely also riskier if you don't know how to do it. This this strat here is at least for free. And here we go. Uh, Aggie now make his way towards Commander O'Neill as well. So this could be a bit of a time sink actually for Aggie. He really has the first half to deck this. Mm -hmm. Or maybe actually he's not even going for Commander O'Neill. And instead just go, does Celia Town Skip to grab the other half of the deck this instead uh, with Red against Sword Seal. I just got the information from Nuclear Passer, Tom, our Elden Ring method, math bingo player uh, that it takes is 40 seconds fast on the ground. The branch is safer, but the ground is faster. The oh. problem with the ground one is if you don't position correctly, you might aggro that one clean rot knight too. And then you have a bunch of light discs coming in your face. I mean, uh, yep. uh, Drawing. flying in Drawing. your face. Which uh, is also not nice. Yeah. yeah. Disky. Disky. Stramisky. Yeah. Frisbee. And it looks like, yeah, Frisbee. so Aggie's going to go for that Celia Talent Skip. He's not going for Commander O'Neill. He's just going to go rush that deck this half. Maybe grab Red against Sorcio. Oh, Red against Sorcio is going to allow him to actually wield the Uchi, by the way, on top of that. So that will help him out with all the early game stuff here. Or does he grab the Grace, go for Commander O'Neill, and then go for the Dectus? Nope. No, he doesn't. Okay. Is Commander O'Neill, like, still there? Yeah, he's still there. He's, he's still almost there. dead. And as Should we see be here... Dead in a second. Hey, look, our Volvos aren't here. It's working. There we go. Our actual indicators mm -hmm. on the map here showing oh, Aggie the gone. driving through the town. Now it's some arrows. Oh, looks good though. Looks yep. good. I also like the colors. Looks pretty, pretty nice. We have both players driving through Kaled. They're both kind of zooming, zooming through downtown Kaled here. Uh, the hellhole of lands between. So what Aggie's going to be doing is going to try and climb up here. And as soon as he gets up all the way to Fort Faroth, he's going to grab... Oh, it's over here, actually. I'm sorry. Uh, he's going to grab that Dectus and also Radigan Sorcio. Yep. And it looks like that Bushy is actually going to be following him in pursuit. Cool. Nice Celia town skip here by Aggie. Oh, he is falling! Has a little bit of a trouble here climbing the second part of the skip. Slippery. Huh? This mountain. Nah! I have a little bit of a hard time with that second part. Dude, Celia Talent Skip, uh, it, it's so frustrating. It's so slippery. The whole thing. It's, it's not It's fun. pretty slippery. It's pretty slippery. Yeah. But in this case, though, this is going to be a, like a bit of a time sink, I guess, in this case for Bushy. He did get the first square, Commander O'Neill, Peepo Pog. But even though he maybe loses the rush to Dectus and doesn't beat Aggie, he still gets the Altus access. So it's still that not a bad thing necessarily, you know. I missed which drop was it on an O'Neill, which weapon? I actually didn't see it either. I'll be honest, I missed it. Chad, what what weapon did uh, Bushy get dropped? Dragon halberd again? No, what? Gar gargoyle halberd. Ah, so the gargoyle okay, halberd. That's okay, that's not too great. That's not super it's got, great. It's got uh, Spinning Slash, I believe, on it. It's also got... Um, I think it doesn't have like a faith requirement for that one. Bushy having you some troubles with that Celia Town skip. Yeah. Torrent uh, doesn't want to get on that branch, unfortunately. Looks like he's going and to go take the long way instead now. Oh, yeah. And uh, Aggie ready to make his way up the ladder here in Fort Faroth. Going to be grabbing the other half of the deck this, in just a moment. And then I'm 99% I'm, I'm, I'm sure he's going to be going for Red against Sword Sail right afterwards. There it is. One and to one now on the board. He does Aggie not. Aggie is on the board Wait, as well. What? Why doesn't he go for Sword Seal? I don't understand. Huh? Oh, Aggie? He's not going for Sword Seal. I mean, he has 3k, he just needs 3 levels. Doesn't necessarily need it. Three, he just needs 3 levels and then he oh, can he use couldn't the weapon. Port. He couldn't port because he he, did, he didn't sit at the Celia. Th so if you take the Celia uh, chest and you don't sit at the Grace, or at any Grace, you're trapped. You can't teleport yep. until you sit at a Grace. 
So if he would have gone yep. down to uh, right against Source Seal, he would be stuck uh, down there with the rats. Uh, but there's a ladder. He can take the ladder up back uh, back up there. But, but still. I mean, technically, you could also memory of grace and just says goodbye to the 3K, technically. He could do that, too. Yeah. I think so. I don't know. Maybe you can't memory of grace when you have No, that. you can. You can. I did that a couple of times because I was stuck there. Because but, I the source would have been place. huge regardless because it makes you wield the Uchi. Gives you extra health, but it makes makes the Uchi wieldable. You don't have to spend any money. Chewing, chewing. I, I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm surprised. I'm surprised he didn't go for that. But uh, maybe he's got something else cooking. Who knows? And also now Let Bushy back at Kale. Looks like he's going for Spirit Ash only now. And maybe Bushy has the same plan. What was he? He's buying daggers because he's seeing. Oh, wait. Hold, hold on. Hold on. Consumable Oni is still open. Let me get that really quick. Oh, wait. We have a Consumable Oni uh, race again, chat. Aggie and Bushy at the same time going for the Consumable Oni. And this oh, time, yeah, Bushy course, is course. grabbing the cookies to make sure it's working. Aggie, a little bit of a head start. And this Let's is where Source get... would have mattered, potentially. <laughs> this, is, this is where it gets a little interesting because it's... Like, why wasn't this rushed before? Like, the first match, it was rushed. I'm assuming both thought that the other person was going to rush it, rush it in the restart. Mm -hmm. yep. Oh, totally. and Aggie already gets the bad RNG of the dash attack. Doesn't get the uh, the, the walk of the of the Bofa. Let's see if Bushy has like, luck this time not getting stuck in the wall. So I figured out for myself, if you just go into the fog gate and immediately start spamming, you hit mostly the head because... Bofa is just walking towards you. So you just need, you don't need to go closer because then you just get closer to Bofa and he starts to attack you. So I, I don't know. Oh, don't know. dude, Bushy's not even going for consumables, though. He's going for a rot dog. Oh, nice. It's not bad. But he doesn't have enough uh, mana to even cast the rot dog here. No, he, I think he has enough mana. No, he doesn't. And now. I don't I don't think he does. No, he doesn't? Oh, he doesn't really? have the bell. Same thing. Almost. Kukri! There we go! Aggie gets Bofa with the consumable only. Very good square. Very good square. Is laying really good. Um, and Bushy's wasting a little bit of time. Doesn't have the bell yet. Um... Bushy kind of losing a little bit of momentum here. Having the commander or Neil Square was good, but he should I feel like he should have rushed Margaret right afterwards. He still has that parry shield advantage. You might, you might as well just get that done with, you know? But he's going to go for that Ash um, that Ash Square instead, which is uh, up here, row one, column three. Which is, which is, now we have to think again, okay, what information did Aggie just Bushy gave? Oh, consumable only. So Bushy can assume. Oh wait, Aggie just did both. Of There's no way he's going to do Spirit Ash only on any other and uh, boss. So he technically, as Domo you said, very very nice. By the way, Domo, the information was really good. He should rather maybe go for the Market Parry because he has the priority with the shield, and then go for Spirit Ashes. And sometimes you gotta hey. like make sure that you spawn the summon. By the way, a little bit farther into the arena, sometimes that dog outside the arena aggro's. Your summon, and then your summon will just uh, look at the door and yell at it for a long time. Is it echoing? Sorry, John. I'm oh. fix that. That's on me. And Bushy died! You... He got both of them. Okay, did you guys hear that scream? Did you hear that scream? Probably not, right? Should be fine now. Give me a thumbs up if it's fine. Bushy died, unfortunately, on Bova with the Rot Dog. That's not great. That takes a lot of more time. Rot dog, dog with a rot. <laughs> Looks like uh, Aggie going for oh, Aggie going now for demi human chiefs. Do we have two caves or something? What do we have there? What is he doing? Bok oh, Check. Bok needle, Box needle. He's giving Bok his needle back, Chad. He's, uh, he's going to be so dominating nice. that road two. Maybe he's rushing road two here. That wouldn't be bad. Or at the very least, creating some pressure. Maybe not rushing it. And he finally leveled his Uchi, by the way. Or not leveled his Uchi, but he leveled himself to use the Uchi. I, oh, man, I really wish that Sorcerer would have uh, been used. That would have been, I think, just massive.
Gets the nice parry here for Bushy on Bofa. His rot dog going for some bites. There's the rot prog. GG's for Bushy. He just needs to make sure to survive now. I guess to run not around. Die. Oh, look at that Uchi. Yeah. Look at this chat. Back to the samurai, back to season one. <laughs> it's funny that Aggie was in season one and now he's his first match in season two and he's still using the Uchi. <laughs> Just wait till he finds Bloodhound Fang. I'm like, okay, you know, this, this, oh, okay. <laughs> this whole thing was useless. Like, why did I even. Oh, am I even making the mod? Let's just let Why him even do play everything the when I just <laughs> everything else just shows up oh, again? Getting a little bit close here with the demi, uh, demi human chave. Dude, they're, uh, they're, you can't underestimate these. Like, yeah, they're not very tanky, but I've I've in randomizers, they're pretty strong. They're pretty scary. They've got some moves true. that you're not ready for sometimes. Yeah, they're very very quick. And Bushy here and running a marathon. Spirit Ash only for Bushy, congrats. And another square for Aggie. Good it's old. Three, three to two. Oh, three to two. Two to three. Uh, let's see what they're working on. Keep on working on now. I do Still I just want I want Bushy open. to go for market parries. Like I just want Bushy go for market parries. Your 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 row four ain't too shabby. Grab yourself. Good old Sacred Blade, kill the Cemetery Shades, get the Urchery Avatar while you're going for Cemetery Shades and Weeping, go for Kaled, get the Grace for Radon, get the Cemetery Shade right next to the Grace uh, in Kaled, uh, the other one that's like really quick to do. Then go straight to Altus, you already have half the Dectus, go kill some Urtrees that way, kill Radon, bada bing, bada boom, bingo. Row four, baby. Wait, wait I missed the start, wait, what? Okay, so you uh, Margaret Perry, then you grab Sacred Blade, you kill Cemetery Shade and Weeping, you also get the uh, Urchery Avatar in Weeping, then you go to Liurnia, uh, kill the Ur Urchery Avatar there, kill the Urchery Avatar and Liurnia as well, next to the Dectus Elevator, take the Dectus Elevator, then you go and activate Radon, get the Grace for Radon, then also kill the Cemetery Shade in Kaled, then go back to Radon, and then bada bing bada boom bingo! Oh yeah, sure, sure, they could work, they could work out, definitely. That's like that's like thirty minutes, optimally, ah forty, but whatever. I'll be honest. Also, the two if 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 Aggie would now go for the two duelists, and then moves to Leonia with the ritual pots, takes a, the 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 abductor version to uh, Volcano Manor, and then just Rygard, boom, beam, bam. From Volcano Manor, he can also go with the duo abductor version to Altus. Yeah. Done. Also done. Boom, beam, bam, boom. Beam, boom. <laughs> uh, we Bingo, just see that uh, Bushy got Mariah's uh, Executioner's Greatsword, by the way, out of that chest. Um, probably one of the worst greatswords. Has the shortest range and doesn't really do great damage. Ash of War is pretty cool, but doesn't really do anything. Seems like Bushy is close now to Margit. And maybe... Finally, oh, is moving to get that mar uh, market square. Maybe. It looks like uh, Aggie now checking round table, by the way. Both of Grand Sax and Dragon Halberd in round table. <sighs> Apparently, he's not going for market. You, you won't get your market, though, unfortunately. I'm sorry. He just, I don't know, he just doesn't like him. Maybe there's, maybe there's beef. He's going to Leonia. Maybe he's a good play. Maybe he's a good play. Actually. Yeah. Maybe. I, I don't know. I don't know. He, he's cooking something. I'm not smelling it just yet, but at some point, I will. <laughs> yeah, are you good at cooking, Zoodle? I'm pretty good, yeah. Yeah. Do you like cooking? Yeah, I enjoy cooking. Not too bad. Is it also good? Yeah, I I think so. Oh. Otherwise, I wouldn't. See, that's the next thing. Like, if someone asks you, are you good at cooking? I mean, I can make dishes I enjoy. If you enjoy it, I don't know. <laughs> but I enjoy it, so I guess I'm good. Ah, that's fair. That's fair. No, I, I think, I think I'm, I'm pretty decent at it. I, I make chicken soup. Okay. That gives you a harder, intense orgasm 
like anything else and i'm not kidding i have people for vouching this like for real happened don't don't huh don't hurt that actually happened chicken noodle Ask soup people yeah it's really good nope all right well, oh, never mind an eggie <laughs> dies on market uh i was trying like, to change uh, the he, subject and he died he doesn't care about that market parry that is still open and just just wants to kill market with his uchi yeah no he put uh he put uh an ash of war on the uh, yep it's the scavenger oh, sword is he parrying with the ah so Oh, that looks so cool. Did you see that? Yeah. It's uh, it's a little bit better than a medium shield, but it's not as good as a Ooh. small shield. It's not great. Do you think uh, his... Oh, he's on heavy load, too, by the way. Do you think uh, with these type of uh, parrying <laughs> dagger type uh, parries that uh, his Sekiro uh, abilities are coming into play here? Probably not. I, I really have to say, like... Uh, Elden Ring parrying is weird. Really? You think so? Ooh, a little I, early I, there. Really weird compared there to the go. other games. Really weird. That is yeah, two parries. I think parries. he's now on three or two parries. I didn't count. Oh! Yippee! He got it! Four parries for Aggie. Now he just needs to kill him. Problematic though. He has no health pots left. He's got so no he needs damage. to do this pretty much endless. Hmm? He's got no damage. Oh, man. Okay, never mind. He actually didn't have uh, the best uh, stats. He he wasn't able to one-hand the Uchi. He can only two-hand it. So he's missing a, a little bit of strength here to wield it efficiently when he was doing those reposts. He would have dealt way more damage. Uh, but hopefully yeah. now, with no healing, he should be able to still get this kill unless he uh, misremembers some of these attacks. And Bushy, just going I mean, downtown. Is going, still scary. going for a shopping spree in Liurnia. Oh, I think he's going for Jarberg here, actually. Grabbing those Ritual Pots. I believe I saw Ritual Pots. Yeah, row two, column one. Oh, and Aggie gets smacked. That's unfortunate. He's losing a lot of time. He still needs to go again now with the parries. Uh, he needs to do the parries again if he really wants to get that square. Unfortunate. It's not easy. Market is not easy. If you want to do try it out, chat. Try it out. Try to beat Market as quick as possible with an OG. Um, as strong as the weapon is, the best people lose on market. Nice first parry. Second parry on Aggie. There we go. Looking, looking fancy. I'm not going to lie. Looking very fancy with those parries. There we go. That's that's when you're able to actually... Here we go. And... Short parry. Full Shoot. parry. Back to back. That was beautiful. That does look really cool. That does look really, really cool. There we go. Nice hits. Phase two now on Margit. He should get a stagger here after this whole animation. Oh, he must have uh, hit the stagger. There oh, there we go. Perfect. One more repost. One L2, R2 potentially. Nice roll. One more Maybe sheet. a jump. Oh, there no we go. Left. Very nice. Whoop. Oh, such a beautiful fight here from Aggie. GG's beautiful. gets the square. Four parries on kill market. Very, very nice. Huge. There we go. So Aggie blocking now column one and row four, which I said was a really good row for Bushy. Bushy looking a little confused now, being like, I thought he was going to be rushing row two here. Row two looking really, really solid. Um, mm-hmm. So I'm wondering actually what Bushy's thinking. Let's let's go check in on Bushy real quick, shall we? Let's let's let's, let's see what he's let's see what he's thinking. Awful. It's not the best. It's not awful. It can work. Hmm. What's he thinking? Seems like he's uh, not upset, but also think it's not the best for him that he just lost the market square. Seven and I need eleven fucking int levels, dude. He swapped over to a, a new, new weapon, the Rose's Axe, too, which is not a Rose's bad weapon. Rose's Axe. Not a Do bad weapon. Do you like the Rose's Axe? What? Do you like the Rose's Axe? Uh, I've used it once or twice. It's pretty cool, though. Not my, not my bug, first. Pretty bug, pretty bug weapon, yeah. 
Oh, wow. Okay, he's full committing to that. All right. I thought he was going to say more, but hey, that's okay. We just probably just missed it. We probably just so, missed it. And Aggie is making his way to Godric, maybe potentially killing Godric with a dagger, claw, fist weapon only. I don't know. I didn't see if he picked up the claws at the, uh, close to the to the gate that Gostok is opening. Um, but maybe he's going to get that square now and blocks actually row one as well as gets another squ square for column five. And after that, only needs a square in, in row three and has blocked everything. Yep. Already. Yep. Is Which is a good play. Really yeah. good play. Right, right now, right now, Aggie has control over the board. Right now, Aggie yep. has a good weapon, which is Uchi. Uh, not going to be an endgame weapon necessarily, but it's going to get him through a lot of the bingo board itself. Uh, possibly upgrade to that dragon halberd that he saw in round table. That, that's what I would do, is use Uchi as long as you can, and then swap the Dragon Halberd, get that shit to plus four. You're, you're, you're smoothing through the rest of the uh, of the board. Drawing, drawing. Wait, do we have Wet Blades or something? Blade of Calling. Wait, why did why did Aggie went down there? Wait, what do we have there? We don't have three Wet Blades. Daggers? Oh, he wants the dagger from. Oh, he got the dagger down there. Ah, see, like I still thought he goes for the for the claw. Okay, fair. That's Look, okay. The claw and dagger is the same thing, but I guess like he just thought that was quicker. But he did get blade of calling, which I don't think is a very good dagger. It's not not the best. Not the best. No, not very. I think you can. I think the chance that you get a good claw weapon is higher than a good dagger. I guess. But I don't know. Oh, he's actually skilling that faith now to be able to use the dagger, I guess. He's got to commit to something, I guess, when it comes to that square. Or he just does the Gostok check. Not the Gostok check, but past Gostok into the uh, Storm Veil uh, hallway where there's a, a claw mm -hmm. weapon. Or, uh, uh, yeah. Possibly Venomous Fangs, which is, uh, I would say, a, a favorite of all the players. And it looks like he's probably going for an, actually a Narius kill here, potentially. Doing the... Uh, another dagger check. Oh, maybe, maybe. Wait, why is he not just going for the claw? Because Blade of Calling is garbage. And also, you have to no, level some in faith to use it. No, no, why is he not going for that claw check? Oh, I don't know. As well as in round table, if you use a uh, in round table, if you use a stone sword, you have another fist check, I think, at the bottom. Uh, no, you just sure go to it's... the uh, Mad Tongue Alberich Invader, uh, where you jump over the balcony, and then you go into the room. Oh yeah, true, 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 true. Yeah, you could check. Yeah, that unfortunately, as well. then you're stuck with the invader, right? Yeah, it looks like he's okay, fighting Nerys here. Maybe he gets, maybe he gets a good dagger here. It feels odd. I'll be honest. It feels odd going for Narius no, here. Because this fight can be really no, annoying. It's yeah, it's annoying. We don't have kill three invaders. Uh, we don't have caves with patches. We don't have get the shackles. So I, I guess it's just the fastest parry dagger. I mean, <laughs> is a dagger. Can use the weapon. Dude, that is not um, good. That That is not no, good. It's not great. He's going to lose a lot of time probably there on the Godric fight. Uh, maybe he forgot about the claw check, but hey. Yeah, here we go. Sometimes oh, oh. in stress, we forget things and just go with the first thing that come into our mind, in our mind. And Aggie just thought, oh, let me kill that invader. There is definitely, oh yeah, Aggie is not looking looking happy with that parry deck. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like I said, parry dagger or blade of calling, both of them absolutely garbage when it comes to trying to kill Godric with it. Uh, Boshi grabbing that ritual pot, da uh, assigned to the Burger King people, uh, but that is honestly a very common thing. They are very strong and very annoying to deal with. Um, you kind of just uh, make you sure just that you don't have any runes on yourself. No. So there's another sm four smithing ones. Maybe Aggie wants to upgrade the deck as much as he can right now just to deal a little bit more damage on Godric. 
Yeah, I'm surprised they didn't go for both fist checks, which is round table and storm veil. I, I'm surprised they didn't go for those two. I don't, I don't know if he just doesn't like those checks, or maybe he just forgot. I don't know. You know, you for gore, gore sometimes. Maybe for gore? Maybe for gore? But hey, he got a dagger. Let's oh. see. Yeah. And hope it works out. He's going to upgrade a dagger now, which is probably a good good plan uh while bushy uh, is working on the ritual pots in uh, leonia he's he's closer to altus is not too bad uh has a bunch of ever jails if he wants to do them he's going he's going for jarberg here right now grabbing those other two ritual yeah. pots and then maybe goes to Kaled right afterwards to make sure that he gets five ritual pots blocks column one and row two with aggie now having that market for perry's square he has both of those lines uh, available, so that one square of ritual pots will block both of that. Would be very, very effective for Bushy in this case. The thing is now, Bushy is a little bit behind. He needs to start blocking uh, stuff from Aggie, and ritual pots is not necessarily the fast fastest thing right now. is is a good way to block two lines, but he kind of needs to go for something, right? Um, but yeah, I mean. We'll see. Maybe, maybe uh, Bushy has a big plan afterwards to uh, win with the secret bingo. Horrendous what damage. Why is the damage horrible? It was bad. Is it bad? I didn't see. Is it bad? It is. It was bad. It was damage? like forty damage per swing. Forty. Hey, it's better than thirty-nine. Yeah, that you should check the claws. Horrible. Is there... What, what is he... Didn't he already grab this half of the deck, this? I guess not. Mm. I thought he did for some reason. No, he does. because he, thought... he has the full deck, this. Why is he here? Is there, is there a claw check here? Or a dagger check? A... He's here. going for blood grease. Oh. oh. Wait, that's okay. fucking okay. weird. Okay. I mean, it works, but damn, just... Just check their claws. And he can grab Bloody huh. Slash here as well from this uh, Landell Knight. Oh, yeah. Changing to the Uchi. Please don't use the parry dagger anymore. Yeet. First time we're seeing somebody actually grab a Bloody Slash here to make this easier on themselves. Definitely a good play. That's uh, a good play, yeah. However, I do think that checking those claws would have been maybe better at the end of the day. But this is a great alternative, at the very least. I mean, he has then at least... Uh, I know he's already the Uchi with bleed. I was thinking, like, hey, at least he has another bleed weapon, but Uchi's enough anyway, so... Yeah. Although Bushy is getting a lot of... Bushy is getting a, a lot of uh, map presence now. Ow. Oh, and Aggie kind of getting Aggie has a little bully here. here. He... No, oh! Miss Rolled. He's got to be careful. No more heal pots left. Now the unsheet needs to hit or a backstep. There, there we go. We go. There oh, we close. go. Yo, wow, Monk got dubs on that one. That was uh, terrifying. All right. And uh, Bushy back in uh, Limgrave, by the way, grabbing the strength tier. Uh, oh, he can, he can use the Rose's Axe now. He has enough stats for the Rose's Axe, by the way. Oh, yeah. Pog Jam. Pog Jam. Yeah, we're getting now into this mid-game where everything is a little bit slower. Both players trying to prep their things. And Aggie's going back into that Godric fight. This time, Perry Dagger plus two with Bleed. Let's see how that goes. That's horrible. 23 oh damage God, per swing bad. here, but he should get a bleed every, like, six or seven swings, I want to say. There it is. There's a nice bleed proc. I mean... Honestly, I would try and force now. maybe charged R2s, even on a dagger, because at the very least, you, you might get a, a, a stagger sooner, and you get that nice repose damage from patch 1.10. That second bleed proc, though, is very nice. Especially repose with the dagger is pretty good. Yep, I think it's 130. Because at some uh, point, at some point, going for numbers. staggers and R2s is going to be better, be uh, since the bleed resistance does build up over time. 
So having uh, more base damage at some point, swapping from fast R1s ah. to, to R2s instead would be better. Unfortunately, he got the stagger, but hit him immediately into... Or what was it? Was it a stagger? Now I'm unsure. Looked like a stagger, but maybe it was just a face transition. It was. Mm. Very nice, very nice. This takes forever. It does. Which it's, great it's ones do we have? Yeah, which. Wait, wait, we have Rikert's great one to restore. I mean, technically, what Aggie can do afterwards is. Um, go and uh, maybe to Weeping or whatever and dupe that Remembrance. Um, we have that in the bottom right corner, which would. Give him another square. It's really, really, really good, actually. You could try and push for column five, yeah. If he gets that uh, top corner and then goes for the duping right afterwards, yeah. he then has row yeah. five and and column five to kind of work with here. I think, yeah, just, just, just Rygat is horrible. Maybe the tree bosses, but the three or tree avatars as well as uh, five bosses with tree in the name work out really Here's well Here's the together, sure. Some good yellow damage. Not too shabby, not too shabby. I wonder what, what Bush oh, is going, good. I think, for the last ritual pot here, by the way. Uh, grabbing that, and then after he blocks column one and row two. After that, maybe he tries to force a row one? I, I'm trying to see Bushy, if, like, what Bushy could do after this. I mean, row one will be... Pretty much gone in a second here for Bushy. But uh, I don't know if Bushy now thinks, okay, I need to keep on uh, looking what I have to block. Um, or if he maybe has maybe a line in mind he wants to go for now. There's not much left, though. He's got to be careful here. Two more hits should do it, though. And Bushy going now One. for... There we go! Easy peasy. On that parry dagger. Very nice. And uh, Aggie successfully blocks row one. Gets another square for column five. And now just needs one square in row three and has everything blocked. There's no bingo possible for um, Bushy anymore. If he gets a square in row three. Yeah. But uh, like a lot of the squares in row three are kind of annoying. Morgoth's Great Rune, Godfrey... Sure, yeah. Uh, five bosses to I mean, their name. That does take a little bit, too, you know? I mean, the three uh, spirits at least work really well with the five bosses with tree in their name. Right. And if you go then for another two Earth, Earth tree avatars, you have that done, as well as the three Earth tree avatars done, almost done, right? You go for the Pre-Utrid avatar and Caleb, Beach, Bash, Boost, three squares into the pocket already, eh? And then that column five looks really juicy. Right. Yeah, I mean, like I said, that column five is going to be huge, a hundred percent. No. So Bushy is working on the Dector's medallion. He wants to get that safe. Um. Altus axis. Interesting that no one went actually, or like no one is planning on going for Makar because we do have three kill three dragon heart bosses. Yeah, well, I mean, Dectus is faster than Makar in this case, and if you go for yeah, dragon heart bosses, you can go for a Gil, Smarag. Those are two decently fast dragons, uh, and they can just go for the magma worm and Kaelid instead, as instead of going for Makar. Bushy going for the Radagon seal. Yep. Good definitely help up. him a little bit with health and damage. Yeah, definitely with health. I think the amount of health you get is more efficient than the extra damage you also take from that seal, right? Because you do take a little bit more damage with the seal. Yep. Uh, but I do think that the more health you have, the less... Uh, effective Sword Seal pretty much is. The more damage you pretty much take. If you have low Vigor the way Bushy does, Sword Seal is just mm -hmm. worth it uh, to use yep, because yep, the, yep. The, the percentage of damage that you take, it kind of doesn't really matter. 
Drawing, drawing. Uh, Bushy is going for the... Maybe from the memory stone in Caelid. Maybe he's doing a little bit of a grail tree. We'll see. Or kills a knight calf right there because we do have kill five bosses that uh, ride a horse. Which also works really well with Radan. Because we do have kill Radan without summoning NPC. There's a lot of squares that work out really well together. Really well. Okay, Bushy is going for Grail. Is he though? Is he though? Now yeah, seems like it. Uh, we might gonna see our very first Grail cheese, uh, ladies and gentlemen, here in Bingo's Bongo's Bingo Brawler Season Two. Um, very easy to explain. You wait at the tree. Grail comes closer. You wait for Grail to... Uh, you hide behind the tree so you don't get burned or roasted. Grail eventually does a flying attack. You run back to the bridge. Grail lands on the tree, falls, infinitely falls, and eventually dies on full damage. Oh, we had it yesterday. Come on, guys. Let me just, you know, just forget about it. Let me hype up something, all right? Jesus. Uh, I wouldn't consider this a glitch anyways. This is definitely a, a gravity kill. Um... Kind of like how you would do a gravity kill on Godric if you get him stuck on the gravestones. Pretty much the same thing. Uh, uh, uh. Let me cook, chat, okay? Let me cook, all right? Don't worry about it. <laughs> what happened yesterday stays there. <laughs> okay, maybe CBD did that. This is the second time we see it. Never mind. God damn it. And now, actually, also, uh, Aggie going for Rose's axe here, by the way. Both oh, yeah. of them rocking the good old Rosas. Grail is screaming. Here comes a fire attack. You need to be careful that you... Bushy's not getting roasted here. And there is the flying attack. Bushy's going past. Jumps back on the bridge. And there we go. Stuck in the tree. Gonna try and walk towards him. And. Whee! Oh! He screwed it up! Oh. No, it's fine. Are you sure? Yeah. Are you sure? No. Look away. There oh. you go. Got, it. got it. There we go. Whee! Wonderful, wonderful. So in the, in that case, you just need to look around a little bit, do a little bit. What did I did I hear something? Oh no, he's falling, and uh, Grail actually falls. There we go, successfully. Uh, First dragon heart boss now. You from Bushy. For hmm? Bushy, do you think he'll try and force row three? We talked about before where where if you pick a difficult line to complete, which is also a difficult line to block. You have a higher chance of actually kind of accomplishing that, I would say. Oh. Um, uh, it's not a bad idea. You know, you go for Dragonheart bosses, go for Tree Spirits after that. And then you have Morgoth and Godfrey, you know? Yeah, yeah. No, nah, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, at the same time, it is not too difficult to snipe with the, with the Tree bosses or Tree Spirits. But yeah, we will see. We're now moving forward Aggie's to EG here. to upgrade this Rose's X to plus four. He hasn't gone for a dupe yet. Um, he's hold, kind of holding on to that, which is interesting. I wonder if he is going to go for the dupe and then Earth Tree Avatars. Mm, it would be good yeah. because, dude, row five or column five is looking really good. For Aggie. Yeah, definitely. Case. Definitely. If he now so if he would go for the dupes now, he kinda would already give Bushy the thought of hey, maybe I wanna go for column five. So maybe he's kinda holding on that dupe. Works on maybe two more bosses with tree in the name. Does two to three earth tree avatars, gets these squares both together, then dupes. And then just needs to go to Aldous and, and yeah, kill Riker obviously and then uh, Go to Aldous and then restore that room. But we will see. We will see. Still a lot open. 46 minutes in, guys. Um, still a lot open. Hmm. 
Hmm. My music is quite. Man, oh, it looks like actually that Bushy might be going for duelists here. He's going to go um, for that jail cave. Uh, bad, actually. Open. Blocking the diagonal, which is actually also not too bad. I mean, Morgoth's great one is not the greatest in the middle. I don't think we're going to see that. I think this is one of the oh, latest mind. squares we have from all of them. Restore Morgoth's great one. He's not going for it. He's going for maybe Radon teleporter instead. Mm. Or he's going for Magma Worm? Potentially for the... Yeah, he already got a Dragon Heart boss. I think he's going to do Magma Worm now here oh, in Kaled. Is another uh, Katana check. Maybe he gets the Uchi drop. <laughs> Dude, it's going to be... I'm, I'm going to say it's going to be Serpent Bone. It's going to be Serpent Bone. Huh? It's going to be Serpent Bone Blade. Yeah, or something trash like uh, Rivers of Blood or something. Dragon Scale Blade. Oh, that would be that would be cool. But I mean, at this point, both have Roses X. I don't think they necessarily need an, any other weapon anymore. It does what it does. It deals damage. Moonvale incoming. Yeah, I've I've seen uh, Domo. You played recently Moonvale in a practice match, and I was surprised because you were you were not saying like yeah I love this weapon, but you were also not saying like this is trash. No, I did is say it was Moonvale trash. Maybe Goodvale. It's just Veil. Vale. Mm. No good. No trash. It's just Veil. Aggie's doing here a really cool skip up to... Oh! He gets it immediately. Very nice. There's another straight sword check, but he's skipping that because, as I said, he already has some weapons. Uh, and he's realizing, wow, I, I can't go into that boss fight from that side. Oh, did he not open the door? Oh, I, I guess he not. thought he opened the door already. He was not even remotely close to that door. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. He just went for it. <laughs> well, let's say Bushy, uh, by the I, way, I just killed. Oh, pot friend, pot friend for Bushy, dude. Just grab the jar shard in, uh, in the Kayla tunnel. There we go. Thank you, pot friend. Have a good one. And oh, get Bushy slapped gets into the arena. Need to be careful. Ah, and get smacked by Magma Worm as well. Look at that knight. He saw Bushy and he really wanted to kill him. Unfortunately, the Magma Worm played with the knight together and they successfully killed Bushy. God, they fine. Everything is fine. He got the crazy. He got the crazy. He's almost wasting no time. It is okay, Chad. Calm down, everyone. Calm down, yeah. Back into the Magma Worm fight. Hey, the damage looks pretty good on plus four. I wonder if he's going to go for the Ash of War as well. Domo? I'm sorry? <laughs> no, okay, you're good, okay, it's fine. Don't worry. Yeah, go I just, go you know, just, I got to handle things. Oh, there it is! That's pretty cool! Look at that! Bum, 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 bum. It's a lot of damage, especially with the Jar Shard that he just got from Alexander on top of that. It actually makes this fight very, very easy. No. So this will be a second dragon heart, I believe, and then you can just go straight for a gil right That's afterwards. Second, yeah. Goes for a gil probably, right? Oh, the lava deals so much damage. And Aggie grabbing that memory stone and GG's. also grabbing some stone sword keys. Rivers of blood, who called it? Did you? You said Uchi Katana. Yeah. No, I said he probably gets river of blood or some shit. No, 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 you said, you said, you probably get another Uchi. Uchi. <laughs> four rivers of blood. Guys, clip it, clip it right now. I said rivers of blood. I basically, okay, okay, it's maybe not fair if I mentioned literally every katana that is existing. <laughs> you definitely said Uchi first. And then you walked I, I off. No, yeah, and then I said, nah, and then you said, no, he gets syrup and blah, blah, blah. And I said, nah, he's probably getting rivers of blood or some shit. Mm -hmm. Maybe, yeah. Hmm. Mm. Oops, please. Oh, a uh, it looks like uh, this should be yeah, this should be uh, Bushy's third dragon heart, and hopefully it doesn't get trolled. Bushy already oh, just did. Oh, look what a yield is doing! So annoying. 
So annoying. Oh! Oh! And dies on a gear! Gets here infinitely staggered by the fire! Funny that a gill is shooting fire forward, but the fire came backwards. It is, I, I guess he watched Tenet or something, but uh, yeah, unfortunately, uh, Bougie died here. Did it bounce off of the stake of America or something? N nah, uh, dude, I don't or know the where it bounced the off, rock? but it did bounce off. There's so it's unbelievable how much space this lake has, and this dragon still finds a way to la land on a cliff. Yeah. Tail swipe. Okay, there we go. Getting some nice R ones in here from Bushy. Not the tail swipe. Now, now a gills pissed. A gills yelling. Oh, nice stomp attack. Little mm. little boom. When he does that stomp attack, going, going for the head. headshot is like way more effective. There is the stagger though. Should get oh, it some Ash of Wars in. Hat. Bop, 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 bop. Oh, that looks good. Looks pretty good. Bop, 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 bop. One more. There nice. we go. GG's. Three dragon heart bosses. Four bushy. In row three, which is by the way still the last row for Aggie to block, to go for majority. Bushy, on the other hand, still needs to block column five and row five. By the way, it looks like and that. Uh, it looks like that actually Aggie is eyeballing that diagonal from bottom left to top right because he grabbed that memory stone, marked that memory stone, and is going for duelists now. So I think he is actually going to try and force that uh, that diagonal. Yeah, do we get? Oh, guys, do we actually gonna get maybe a more good grade rune race? Potentially, it's looking like it. Fuck! That's his first duelist here. He's gonna go for a second duelist, then in Limgrave right afterwards uh, from the Saints Bridge, or he goes from McGill. Saints Bridge is, I think, faster, but I might be wrong. Um, and then after that, he just has to rush Memory Stones. And he already has Dectus for Altus access. Gonna do Radon right afterwards. Radon's gonna be very easy with uh, Rose's axe, by the way, because it does have magical damage, and Radon has low magic resist. So yeah, that should be really fun. I mean, Aggie at that point is also loaded with weapons. Uchi, parry dagger two, Rose's axe. If you parry a dagger more, God, that'd be insane. But I seriously doubt it. <laughs> going here for the second duelist. Why? I wonder what what, what is Bushy going for now next? He just got the three dragon heart bosses. Is also a little bit of um. Of a dead end square, but he needs to make sure to block everything now, right? He just blocked with that dragon heart bosses column two as well as row three. Um, is he going to weeping now? He is picking up a sacrificial trick. He's maybe working uh, on these talismans. Yep, working on the talismans, not bad. And there is the square, four bushy, eight talismans. Very, very nice. Was a good call. Why not? Is it? Is it? Why? Why, why, why would the eight talismans be a good call here? I don't think it is, to be honest. It, because it he already him had a bunch. He just picked up two more. So why not just getting it? I don't know. And he could now go to weeping. To work on those trees. Right? I mean, it's on the way. Why not get him? Well, the only bingo you have left is row three. I, I don't know. Yeah. I, like any time you don't put into row three is, is wasted. I think at this point, because that's your only threat that's left. Fair. You know. That's fair. Yeah, he needs to block. He needs to block something. <sighs> but seem, or is he finishing Dectus? Uh, he should be. He does have the first half. Yeah. At the same time, we have to say it's six to five, which is looking okay. But Aggie still has a priority on this board, especially with column five and the diagonal now. If Aggie finishes now the memory stones, 
I, I don't even know how many. I, I, he has marked one. I don't know if that's still correct if he only has one. Uh, yeah, because he bought the one from that, round table. Just... Sorry. Hmm? Sorry. He bought the Sorry? one from round table. That's, that's the only one oh, okay. he's had so okay. far. Seems like he's going for Dectus first and maybe Radan first. Yeah, I mean, that, that's uh, that's the good thing is because he can just kind of prolong memory stones mm -hmm. until he can just uh, hit them back to back. So he can go for Radon and then just pop the, the last memory stone right afterwards, get two for one pretty much in that case. And then all that's left yep. over is Morgoth's Great Rune. And then it's pretty much bing, bang, boom, GG's. Pretty much. Pretty much. Also very hard to follow up then, uh, because um, if both players are actually running for Morgoth's Great Rune to restore, that takes a lot of time. A lot of time from that race. Only one hour is left, guys. Um, seems like Bushy is also working here now towards Dectus. Maybe both players want to do Radan now. Maybe we're going to get a quick Radan race. Everything's still open. <sighs> Aggie does have the head start here, though. Is this is this Rose's Axe plus four? Is it plus five? I would say four. I don't think they picked up a five. Maybe he's planning on picking up that five before Radan's boss fight. Did Aggie just drink? Is he drinking and driving right now? Ain't no way. Is he, he drinking, drinking his... his what, what, what was it called again? Something with W? Windex? Just, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is he drinking that again? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, hello, Pepe phone. Lands between department. Aggie's <laughs> drinking and driving again. Dude's on steroids. Yeah, it looks like he's will at least have, uh, I want to say a minute head start here. Uh, on the Radon fight compared to Bushy. So uh, if if Aggie I'm dies it? to Bushy, uh, di di if Aggie dies to Radon, that might actually help Bushy here solidify that square and a huge block too. It's maybe 20 seconds. Not a Never mind. Aggie just uh, didn't even go for the grace. He just went past it. He's going for a different grace oh. up ahead instead. It's giving Bushy more time. This is oh, this is Monk a W, dude. I don't know. Yeah, like what is he? Yeah, what is he doing? Why is he going further? Why is he not pushing up for the Rodan? It seems like that Bushy probably is gonna go for Rodan right away. He gets a grace, sits down. No, it doesn't sit down. Do you need to sit down, or do you just need to activate it? You just have to activate it. Awesome. But yeah, uh, Bushy right now Radon is already right in Kale. It has Rodan and, active. Aggie's going for Rodan as well. No, oh. Aggie's, Aggie's farther away from Rodan though. Yeah. Yep, we having now a uh, Radon race, ladies and gentlemen. About uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. But Aggie's a little bit further away. Also, spend a little bit more time in Altus to get a different grace. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why. I mean, the, the other grace that he went for is optimal for capital. Here's the thing, right? So if he goes for that one that he just went for, it is more optimal to get to capital faster because the other mm -hmm. one's just a little bit out of the way. But yeah, I don't think it was true. worth it. But he doesn't know it's a race. No, it was not worth it. Yeah, definitely not. So there, that, there's that too. So. Uh, let me check real quick. On the Hold way. on a second here. Yeah, Bushy's much closer to Radon right now. There you guys, stay. you guys can see it beautiful on the map. Here's Caleb, a teleporter, by the way, right Bushy over here. With the blue Volvo. So. Uh, Aggie with the red Chevrolet right behind him. Yeah, I, I really think that that grace kind of screwed him. Yeah. Cool. But he, he's clueless. He doesn't know, obviously. Only oh. we know. Right? Oh, there. Bush is gone. Oh. And... Is he a teleport? Oh, he's back. Three. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> happened. <laughs> now we're going to see an Aggie do, Jed. Watch out. 
And close the bridge. And uh, boop, he's gone. <laughs> gone. And boop, he's back. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Are they close? They're close to it. It really comes down actually now to Radan. It really does. Uh, we will see. Yesterday we talked about is it better to summon or is it better to not summon? We saw Bree not summoning on the Radan fight, and then we saw others summoning. Uh, it really, it really comes down now to a really clean Radan fight. Who's gonna get that first? Uh, oh no, wait! They're not allowed to summon. No, no. But what if, what if, what if Bushy goes for the upgrade? Oh, he doesn't. He's not going for the upgrade. He's, he's, he's just going straight for it. Radan. He's okay. It. Yeah. No, no summons for this for this grace. Then it really comes down to the really to to a to a clean fight, right? Oh no! Aggie goes for the upgrade. Bushy's gonna get it. No, Aggie. He's clueless, Chad. He wants to go for that juicy plus five, but Bushy, no. Bushy is going for the plus four. He knows this is enough. Yeah. That, How comfortable is Bushy with right Radon, there. though? Pretty, pretty comfortable, huh? right? Yeah, definitely. Here we go. Here we go. Big screen on Bushy. Very nice. Oh, that's where things get a little interesting. Aggie's still managing his flasks on this grace. Is now also moving to Radon. Yeah, he's at least what? two minutes behind with that elevator. Yeah, now it's, now it's crazy. Good damage here. Ah. This is a plus four roses, I believe. He does not get plus the phase 1.5 transition okay, right away. Great. He's got to be careful. Roll and roll. Beautiful. Wonderful. Now what phase 1.5. Honestly, going for this going Ash of War, I think, would be better in this case. Hop. It does seem like he knows this fight pretty damn well, though. There we go. Oh, and it completely oh God, what missed! What, what, what did the skeletons do? They were totally lost. I'm not sure. Uh, Master, you want me to hit over here? That was the skeletons right there. They didn't know what to do. Ooh! And Bushy gets back. Vitality was 1%. That was so close. Gets the roll as he's time for the heal. Another very scary attack by Radan. He dodged it. Another jump. Goes for oh, the stagger. stagger! They are the skeletons. This time they hit. Okay, he's got to be really careful here. Playing very ballsy, but not healing. he's also in the Radan fight. Little Captain Kirk asking for landing. Okay, not bad, not bad. He's not going to get enough damage here to kill him, though. Nope. Phase 2. Aggie's already going into phase 1.5 here. Okay, okay, okay. Mm. Oh! Ah! He died! Oh, he died! Oh, my God! This is the chance for Aggie to get the square! It is actually happening! Ain't no way! Aggie now with the plus five roses eggs! Amazing dodges! The red Volvo just crashed! And Radon as well. No, the blue Volvo, I'm sorry. I got my cars mixed up. <laughs> and there goes the Yep, SpaceX go Radon's going up into the sky and Bushy's back into the fight. It actually, this is unbelievable. The Radan incident for Bushy. Aggie does have a little bit more health than, yes, than, than Bushy does. Does not do the Ash of War, though. Oh, there it is now. Oh, he's got, okay, he's got the meteorite attack right away. Yeah, but without meteors. Yep. I did a little too early there. Does the bunny the hop with Torrance. That's actually really good. Okay, this is Skeletons really good for Aggie well. here. Oh, he doesn't have any stamina, though. Takes the hit here. Yeah. Skeletons also missed. Takes oh! the wave into his face. Gravity attack. Another heal. Balls. Aggie's got to nice be careful. Dodges. Oh, Aggie gets the good attack here. Aggie gets the good attack. But he doesn't He doesn't capitalize on it. He's got to dodge his wave attack that's coming up here. 
get smacked by the wave. He's got to be careful. He's got to heal. Three heal pots left. Bushy right now kind of catching up. Almost in phase two himself. Another skeletons. One more one. Oh no. my. Oh no. <laughs> no. The, the, the HP. Throw the cool grab. Hop. Vigor is not real. There we go. There and we he go. gets the square for him. Unbelievable, and Bushy needs to see this now. Oh my Losing this god. Losing on that Radan punch. That is so unfortunate for Bushy. Unbelievable. Congrats to Aggie securing that square, and now it's getting interesting. Four memory stones, restore Morgoth's great rune. This is this is bad news bears for for Bushy in this case because he doesn't even have Godric yet. Aggie already has two remembrances. He can go into capital. He can go for Morgoth right away. He doesn't have to prep for anything else. He can go for memory stones. This is looking in the bag for Aggie at this point. I, I think there's wait, the is Redon that, guild is, for Bushy. Wait, wait, wait. Is is Aggie going for Morgoth right away? Yeah, yeah, I guess so. I guess so. Wait, well, yeah, this is interesting. Yeah, why? Or at least he's, maybe he's prepping it. He's prepping. He's prepping. I think he's prepping. Do you think he's prepping? Or is he going for it to also block row three? He's prepping. <laughs> I don't know. It's all guessing. I don't think he's prepping. It's why all would you prep at this that point. now? All guessing at this point. If we're looking at the map again here real quick, by the way, all Aggie has to do is go to the capital, go all the way around, get to the bridge here, and then he goes into the, oh, the bridge over here. Whatever, same thing. Uh, Bushy, no, he could, go for, he could go for memory stones. He can grab the memory stone here. He can grab the memory stone in, right over here. He can grab Red Wolf. He can grab the memory stone on the island. He can grab the memory stone in Weeping. He's got a lot of different options for memory stones here. Honestly, Liurna seems to be his best bet because he also has Urtree avatars, by the way. You know, which is still on the board. Yeah, yeah. So he has a yep. lot of things to work with. That's interesting. He's a lot That's of things interesting to work now. With. Bushy needs to get those memory stones, not only for blocking the bingo of the diagonal, also blocking uh, row five. And he still needs to get then uh, a square in column five. But seems like he's going for market here. Why, though? Because he needs Godric to get into the capital. <clears throat> yeah, but does he want to go for Morgoth as well? I guess so. I don't know. Oh, and this, does I mean, he maybe the only think way... that Aggie is now going for the memory stones and wants to work on Morgoth already, but does know actually he's also going for Morgoth already? Maybe. I don't know. I, I do think it's weird that Aggie's keeping memory stones open because he knows that he killed Godric. But Bushy also knows because of that uh, Claws uh, Fists Only uh, Remembrance Square. <clears throat> I, if I were Bushy, I would definitely be going for memory stones because I already know that I, I only have Radon and we know that Aggie has Godric and Radon now. Definitely. Definitely. So we already know we're behind. I, 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 I don't know. But then again, if you don't go for... There's the thing with, like, bingo is... The next best thing to block is memory stones. That's why Aggie is not going for it. And that's why Bushy is not going for it. Because Bushy doesn't want to go for something that Aggie potentially is going for as well. And then lose that race as well. Yeah. And then he's screwed on Morgoth. He's going for the long-term distance call of being like, Okay, Aggie's going to do memory stones next because that's the next easiest thing. And then do Morgoth. So I'm going to try and cut him... Uh, in line by going for Morgoth right away and just ignore memory stones. And in this case, he's still kind of racing for the same square, pretty much. <clears throat> right now, from our perspective, looking at both players, uh, it's looking good for Aggie. Yep. He is not even going for the parry. Uh, probably... No, I mean, he. I, I think he he still has the parry on that one weapon, but it's a little bit scary. So I guess he just thinks, okay, I have a plus five roses axe. Should be enough for DTS. What? Did he not just roll that? 
the, dude, the flame attacks are weird. Yeah, it's horrible. All, all fire attacks and Elden Ring are just weird. I, I don't know what the coding is on that, but I'm not a fan. <gasps> oh, oh I was shot by DTS. I need to be careful. I was just about to We're say. We're here now in Altus. They play the game a little bit different. What kind of game is that? Naya, the hot game. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Needs to be careful. Nice market yeah. fight here by Bushy, though. Oh, he's doing that really quick. <laughs> Rose's X apparently better than a parry dagger too. Who would have thought? Nice rolls from Aggie on DTS. Gets a stagger. Hits him with the R1. Nice roll on the AO AO AOE attack. Gets the shield in his face. Close to the face transition. There's the face transition happening. Bushi on the other hand. Second phase in Godric already. There's the stagger. Godric done. Another stagger for Aggie on DTS. The Rose's X is working really well, actually, with those skeletons. I like whoever said before Rose's X is meh. That wasn't oh, me. Can try it. That huh? wasn't me. No, it wasn't me either. Like, I heard people saying, like, oh, but they they are clueless. Wasn't me. They missing out. Nice Rose from Aggie. Wonderful played. Gets another stagger. Goes for the skeleton attack. Oh, look at those rolls. AOE. Did you just casually roll that? Unbelievable. Gets the DTS. Clean. Nice that fight. was such a good fight. Very nice fight. And Bushy is now also moving towards Altus with the DTS. Also doesn't know that Aggie is way far ahead. If we can look at the map really quick, the Volvo and the Chevrolet moving can we zoom out how far away they actually are from each other? Look at that, chat. And think about it. Bushy still needs to fight DTS, right? But Bushy at least has a, a parry shield. Probably he's going to parry him, cheesing him. Uh, but yeah. You know, the interesting thing here, by the way, is that uh, as soon as Aggie kills Godfrey, though, that's on the board. So it will notify Bushy being like, hey, he's not going for member stones. He's going for Morgoth. Yeah. Maybe then yeah. Bushy will pivot off and be like, okay, I'm not going to beat him to Morgoth. I'm going to go for Memory Stones. But then Aki could be like, hey, I got Godfrey. I'm indicating I'm going for Morgoth, but then pivot off as well and go for Aggie Memory Stones as well. Stones. You know, it's going to be this cat and, and he's mouse. he's already ahead with the Memory Stones. A lot of cat and mouse. That would be, that would be five fat. If he would do Godfrey into Memory Stones, oh, gets to skip first try, Yagi. Very, very nice. That would be five hat play. Yeah, that's a, coming that's close to the play from from NPT yesterday with the smithing stones, uh, which worked out really, really well for him. We will see if he's going to do it. That would uh, be crazy. Hopefully, hopefully Bushy gets the uh, DTS cheese here. He does have the rickety shield still with parry, so he should be able to get that parry cheese off uh, and kind of skip that fight a little bit quicker. And he might be able to catch up. I don't know. Uh, we'll see how good they both are at the Morgoth fight. Because uh, we haven't seen that many, so we don't know how well-versed both players are uh, against Morgoth. I don't know if it's the reason of the mod or the slight changes on the squares, but I have a feeling from, if I compare already Season 2 with Season 1, that we have so much more alters happening. Like, so much more. And I I'm not sure if it's the squares, necessarily, or the mod, or anything. But I, I I don't know maybe I'm wrong but I had a feeling that in season one it was much more late game you know what I mean? Mm, mm. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I think I think it's partially the weapons. I think it's uh, just partial to play on player knowledge, and getting more mm. and more comfortable with the board to see what they can do the fastest. I think season one was a lot of understanding of okay this square looks easy but it takes a lot of time. Uh, and like yeah. just keeping that time consumption in the back of your head for the squares rather than just being like, oh, it's, it's easy. Let me just do Leonidas Begotten. Leonidas Begotten was done a lot in season one and huge time sink square. And I was like, oh, it's just you have to kill him. You just show up at the castle, you kill him. It's easy. 
Yeah, but it's like a seven minute time sink to do that square. Yeah. And now, like, no one really does it. We've had, I think it was like yesterday or two, uh, like oh. match one or match two. Leon and Begotten was still on the board open at, at late game because you know it's a time sink. You, you know it's. Because the time sink is a dead end, right? Um, yeah. I don't know. Maybe in season three, we're going to see more of mountaintops <laughs> or DLC. Maybe. 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 No, I, I really, know. I really hope just in the matter for this leak that uh, the access to the DLC is quite early. Because if it's somewhat like you have to kill Melenia, right, and touch the tree, then it's just not going to happen. Right? I'm sorry, what was that? Uh, nothing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, I was I just, watching I, both players. I I, I was kind of, I was kind of zoned uh, in here. That I hope for, for the leak that the DLC is um the access to the DLC is early and not like something you have to kill Millennia and touch the tree. Gets here, Bushy gets nice. the stagger at the parry. Did he get and it? And DLC well, easy. Nice parry. Nice parry. And now it's happening. Aggie on. He gets giant crusher. Aggie on. Godfrey. Goldfrey. Let's see if he's gonna continue on Morgoth or if he's actually gonna pivot to the memory stones. That would yeah, be, this is where it's gonna get very interesting. We, yeah, can we get a can we get a big screen for the for this fight, please? Sure, sure, sure. Uh, thank you, team. I appreciate it. It's just me pressing a button. <laughs> we have a team. Sure, 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 sure. It's more professional. Uh, Bushy actually left uh, Altus, by the way. He got DTS and then left. He's going for Memory Stones now. Oh, yeah. If Maybe. Aggie goes for Memory Stones after this, I don't know what to do or what to think, I should say. Mm, yeah, maybe maybe Bushy thinks now already. Hey, wait, hold on. Well, hold on. The Memory Stones, why does he still not have it, right? Yeah. Okay, and now Bushy will know. Oh, he he did Godfrey. He's in he's in the capital. There it comes. And there is the mark now. Goldfrey. And there's the pivot to the memory stones from Aggie. That's going to be very interesting now. Who's gonna get it first? So Aggie already has one memory stone. Uh this is gonna be Bushy's first memory stone, but Aggie has the one from Round Table, which Bushy can just buy right away as well. And that's yeah. like there 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 isn't a lot of uh it's time loss easy, pretty much right? in Bush, for Bushy in this case to catch up. If Aggie managed to get that square, it's pretty much done. If Aggie gets the square now, it's done. If Bushy gets the memory stone square, then everything is still open. And here we are. Red Wolf, as mentioned before, going to be one of the memory stones for Bushy. I wonder if he's going to do the same memory stone that actually Bree went for yesterday, which was a good one. The next to uh, Raya Lucaria, the one with the turtles. Ah, oh, yeah. Because mm -hmm. that's that's a, pr a pretty fast memory stone. Ooh. All right, Aggie going for his second memory stone here as well. Does Aggie even have Academy Key, though? Because Bushy already had this I prepped for Ritual Pots, so he already had access and already was at the Grace for Red Wolf. Bushy, I mean, Aggie I don't think does. Looking good for Bushy to snipe that square. Oh, no, he has it. Oh, yeah, of course he has it. He has it because he... Just not prepped. Um, Just not prepped, I guess. Yeah, he, he went through this for, for Dactus. But, uh, yeah, Aggie's behind with that. Aggie's behind. Bushy has now two memory stones. Yep. Aggie has two, but Aggie still needs to go up to Red Wolf and probably do Kaelid. No, yep. Yeah, has to do, yeah, Red Wolf and Kaelid or Red Wolf and, uh, the, and the, the, memory, no the memory tower right next to yep. Raya Lucaria, which would be faster, yeah, I but, think. And Bushy's now going, right? Yep. Yep, exactly. Yep, exactly the one that Bushy's going for. 
Bushy. Wait, Bushy has two, not one. Bushy has already two, so Bushy just didn't. He is the third, and then just ports back and get forward. I, I, I think Bushy's gonna get it. Yeah. Bushy's gonna snipe that from Aggie away and uh, blocks that bingo. That's that's very very interesting. Really cool. Oh, Aggie misses the jump. And the thing here is also. I wonder. Does that mean that Bushy could possibly bring it back? Yeah. With Definitely. being, th uh, this would be eight to six. Yeah, th 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 there's there's a lot of actually very quick squares too. The death bird, death right bird squares in Lyrnia, yeah, you could do that pretty quickly. Um, he's kind of prepped for cemetery two. shades too. Both did Radan. They can do mimic tier. <laughs> Aggie getting blasted. M the Birkin people are open? not happy. <laughs> duping, duping remembrance. There's a lot of quick squares. That's that's scary actually. Nothing safe here yet. <laughs> they're just they're just spamming spells. That was kind of funny. <laughs> oh, Aggie, be careful that you don't get grabbed here by these mana sucking monstrous. Do you think actually Aggie would even do Morgoth's Great Rune? It's a huge time sink. You have to kill Morgoth and then Probably do the not. elevator and everything. So if if Bushy blocks this, he could just go for column five. He still has that open. No, definitely. He needs to. He needs to dupe the remembrance. He needs to get those quick squares. Dupe. I mean, get the Morgoth Urchree Avatar there. You know. Yeah, I mean, with Death Right Birds, Ever Jails, uh, the Mimic Tier. There's so so many symmetry shades. So many quick squares. Mm -hmm. And there comes the snipe from Bushy. Here we go. And Aggie thinks, God damn it. <laughs> Stole that from me. Shit. All right. What are they? What are they? What are they going for now? What is he thinking? Archery avatars. Not bad. Bushy, what are you thinking? Talk Not to bad. us, man. Talk to us, Bushy. No? You good? Maybe Aggie's talking. Aggie's moving his lips. I think he's Aggie, talking. Okay. Oh, yeah, we'll check on Aggie then. Hold on. <laughs> okay, he stopped talking. He stopped talking. Aggie stopped talking? Dude, why is it every he single time talking. I he's tune fighting. in, they don't talk? But as soon as I, 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 I don't tune in, they're, 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 they're yapping. All right. I'm talking. We talking. We're talking. The words. Where are the words? Ha! <laughs> Laughing. <laughs> Bushy going for tree spirits now, which is also bosses with tree in their name. And Aggie going for Urchwee avatars with tree in their mm -hmm. name. So they're both going for tree bosses. But Aggie working towards column five. Like we said, that's going to be a huge thing for Aggie in this case. Five is good, yeah. There we go. There we go. That's a second tree boss now for uh, she Aggie. She should definitely go for the one in... Maybe the one in Leonia to... Instead of... Okay, in, like... Instead of going f maybe for the pure trade one, I'm gonna go because that no one doesn't last. count for a tree boss. Yes, it counts for earth tree, but doesn't count for tree boss. If we end up getting sniped on this, uh, with at boss least with tree in the name, um, to maybe secure that. So uh, he said he's going for the Landell one last. Landell as in tree spirit or Landell as an earth tree avatar? Because there's, there's an earth tree avatar in Landell, right? Am I, am I stupid? No, the no, there's a death bird. No, there isn't. It's just three yeah, Urtree no. avatars. The yeah, square Lando doesn't say has, bosses. So has no Urtree boss. Non boss ones. Right? All Urtree avatars are non boss. No, it's just the, yeah, I think it just the tree spirit so. one. He's, that's the way he talks. There's the one then Lane the tree spirit, but I don't think Urtree avatar, though. Oh, they the one count. on the main avenue in the capital! Oh, true. Future avatars are Urtree avatars. They're not bosses. I forgot about that. Yeah, this is the thing. See, that's what we're talking about all the time. Capital used to be so late that we barely ever saw, saw it, and now it's just casually like, well, let's go to Capital. Well, let's have an earth tree there. Let's maybe parry Margit in front of the Capital four times. Right? No, yeah, that's the, that, that's the only thing is that the earth tree, though, in Landell is not a boss. That's true. Doesn't have a health bar. But it says so it would count the towards earth tree avatars, avatars, but it wouldn't count towards five bosses with a tree in their name. Because it's not a boss. Yeah, wouldn't count for the bosses, but would count for the ore trees. Yeah. So he's got to be careful. My mic is speaking. That's because I scream. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're fine. Don't worry about it. This is better. <laughs> <laughs> this would be Bushy's 
uh, third urch, uh, third tree spirit, I believe, or s for a second, second, sorry. And I think Ag is going for the dupe now, or at the very least, going for the Urtree avatar. Definitely Urtree. I think he should wait with the dupe. I think he's going for Urtree, then dupe, and then Urtree lane. He should definitely wait with the dupe because he, oh, he go, he's prepping that cemetery shade. Okay. 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 He should wait with the dupe because the five earth trees are so much more important. But at the same time, he doesn't know what uh, Bushy is doing, right? Like Bushy could also already work on the three earth tree avatars, or maybe as well as duping. It's a little bit of a gamble. Hmm. So this is uh, this is Bushy's second tree spirit, I believe, because he finished the one in Stormville. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm mhm. Hmm. Yeet. Oh. Dude, okay, who made this? Oh, get scrapped! Uh oh. Is he dead? No, he should nah, be fine. No, he's, he's, fine, he's fine. fine. He's fine. He's fine. He's fine. Close he's though, fine. but yeah, he's fine. I don't know who made this boss. Like, it's the same thing with uh, Royal <sighs> Revenant. Like, why? Ag Just super unnecessary. Aggie died to Urtree and Weeping. Huh? He got he got blasted. Damn. That's a W for the Urtree. You got blasted. Wait, don't we have like Biden blast in chat or something like that? <laughs> isn't that is, isn't that an emote that we have? No. Oh, that's oh my God! Look at the damage. <laughs> Look at this. Boom, 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 boom. That that is nice. Second Urtree's uh, avatar, and yep. third boss with tree in the name. And he's going for the one in the avenue to finish the Earth Tree avatar. I hope he knows and is not un by mistake marking by force with tree in their name uh, this Earth Tree here because it's not a boss, right? Yeah, we'll see. Here it comes. It's gonna be uh, his his uh, his correction if he screws it up. He has sixty seconds to correct the square if it's a mismark. Yep. Well, it's a mismark regardless, but he, he has 60 seconds to correct it, pretty much. Oh! Aggie! Just go for fucking normal R1s and R2s, Jesus. <laughs> okay. Another okay. tree spear, uh, tree boss for Bushy here, by the way, going for the tree sentinel. Yeah, Bushy going for trees, uh, bosses with Gina name is a smart play, in my opinion. Yeah, no, I agree, I agree. There we go. Three for three now on five bosses with tree right. in their name. Let's see if he's marking the marking it right. There we go. A Lord's Rune? Damn. Yeah, S I think it always drops a Lord's Rune. Huh? It always drops a Lord's Rune. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, that's crazy. It's cool. Oh, it's yeah. It's 50k. Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. Um, <laughs> uh, he did not mark the one with bosses, so he knows he is aware. And Tree is Sentinel now for Aggie as well. What's going to be his last Tree boss? Huh? Could Oh, could be the... Watchdog? Mm, watchdog. Either a Tree Spirit or... I would I would do a Watchdog. Watch. He, he's right there. He just needs to run up True. and do the Watchdog. Yeah, the Burial Watchdog. Bushy's no. doing this. Yep, no, Aggie, go for Watchdog. Aggie, go for Watchdog. Go for Watchdog! Yeah, why is he not going for the You're Watchdog? Right there. You have four bosses. What is what he do doing? What, what is he doing? Okay, okay, not going for Watchdog. <laughs> Bushy's going for Watchdog though. Very good. Is he going for Urtree in Leonia? Yeah, he's going for the Urtree in Leonia. Uh, why though? Yeah, he could have just gone for the Burial Watchdog. No. This is the, that's what I said. On pressure, you forget things and you just do what the first thing that comes into your mind, you know? And sometimes you're like so tunnel focused on, you know. Um, yeah, no, I, no, I got oh, you. I'm I just surprised. Earth trees. I need another Earth tree because an Earth tree is tree in your name. Guys, don't complain about Edge. We told you to prime sub. We told you to sub, all right? Just sub. <laughs> <laughs> can, we, can we get some primes? 
for the good feeling, okay? Just two primes for the good feeling, chat. For the for the good match, for the good match. <laughs> the good match. The players for us. Just two primies. Uh... There's the first. There's the second. I appreciate it. Thank you, chat. <laughs> All right. The push is going now for that watchdog. Uh, but I guess if Aggie's not failing on that or tweet two, he's claiming that square. You guys even got a kiss from Zoodle. You guys don't want to... Oh, there's a five pack. Let's go. Next time with tier two, please. Our... Okay, Jesus so Christ. Okay. Thank you very much, guys, for your kindness. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, seems like that uh, Eggie's probably going to get that unless he gets smacked by the Urtree like one from the other. Uh, seems fine, though. The damage is pretty good on the Rose's Axe. Kind of funny that both went for the Rose's Axe. Yeah, it's going it's going pretty good though here for for Aggie. This is definitely going to solidify yeah. that score. But then that means also they have to go for Rykard, by the way, which none Rykard, of them are prepped yeah. for. Okay, he's gonna claiming it now and needs to move immediately back to get that mausoleum deal. Yeah. And what is Bushy saying? Let me let me hear. Dude, I swear if I'm if I pivot to Bushy and he stops talking as soon as I open this up, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be so pissed. I think you know what you need to do. Don't! I swear to God! Yeah, you know what you need to do? You, we know that they are about to get sniped. I think you need to activate it before they get sniped. And not after. Every time I pull this shit up, he stopped! Well, but I, he did three Erd Tree avatars. I mean... He could have done double Kalid and Lyernia. Maybe. I could have a, a weeping lead. Maybe. Hey, he's looking really good for Aggie here. Okay. Okay. This okay. looking really good for Aggie. We got something. Both have. Wait, 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 wait. I think Aggie also ran up to the Red Wolf, right? Did he get the Grace there? Because then he can just uh, do the uh, Abductor version skip. But why would you do Abductor version? Whatever. He already has Dectus. Oh, I see what you mean. No Volcano Manor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, maybe, maybe, maybe. I don't know. I don't. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not I'm sure. Viola, no question. I, I'm unsure if he got the grace. But I think so, he did. Yeah. But Aggie definitely has the lead here on the duping, and mm -hmm. Bushy's still going for the dupe as well, so this is going to be another snipe by Aggie. Yeah. It's looking really good for Aggie right now. Really, really good. Really, really good. I wonder if, oh. if either of them skipped that grace, though, that was right before... Um, or right after mm -hmm. Tree Sentinel Duo. The one that takes you to the tunnel for the Rikard Tower. We oh, have to beat the Onyx yeah. Lord. If they skip that for, that for Morga, you know what I mean? I mean, we know that Aggie has a close one in front of the stairs, at least. But yeah. Okay, so Bushy grabbing the Grace here for Cemetery Shades just in case. Is going to have... Uh, Are we going to have a Rikard race chat? A sad realization. Gonna yep, a Aggie's going to be duping here. so. And we also only have 25 minutes left, by the way. That's not a lot of time. That, no. mean, that means Noble needs to happen. First try, Rikard. There we go. Potential possible bingo for Aggie here. It's looking scary. Looking scary for Bushy. Sound on Bushy? I'm not. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I swear. I, okay. I, I'm, I'm doing it. I swear to God. If he doesn't. If he... I mean, that seems like a somewhat likely call from him. Look, you have but to do it I, before I've he a gets couple sniped. Games against Aggie. Oh, he's talking. He he's, talking. he's talking. He's talking. Sudo, shut up. He's the talking. The story in both of them has been. An execution story, a mid-game execution story, where we do the same things at around the same time, but I make some sort of fuck up that he doesn't make. And it takes these very close games and turns them into not very close scores. I have no idea what he's talking about, I'll be honest, dude. I am lost. I have I have no idea. I think he was talking about that both basically went for the same things and it's all coming down to him or Bushy doing a mistake. I I I I mean I tuned in mid-sentence. I don't know. Like I I I I think so. I think so, yeah. 
I was just hard to follow along, at, like in mid thought. Yeah, if if if, if the guy would have not screamed in the middle of him talking, right? Was super annoying, Jesus. <laughs> okay, dude. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Oh my lord. <laughs> that cemetery that? shade kill, though. <laughs> Wait, Aggie's not going. But. What? Wait, Aggie's going for horse. Oh, Aggie's just going for majority. He's not going for Rikard's Great Rune. Oh. He doesn't have to go for Rikard's oh, Great it's Rune. Actually, no, it's actually not too bad. It's like, it's literally just saying, I don't, I, I'm not even wasting my time with. Yeah. With Rikard. I'd rather. Push Bushy to go for Rygar in yeah. that in that time. I just do the quick ones, right? No, I, I just uh, I just realized how close actually Aggie was to majority. There's like, there's no reason for him to for him to actually even do yeah. that bingo. That's true. Yeah, this is this is pretty much uh, in the in the bag for Aggie in this case. Grabs also maybe five important. horse bosses and then goes for Death Bird, Death Red Bird. Uh, that's my guess. Chat, very important. Uh, it doesn't matter if the players win by bingo or win by majority. Both counts as a win. Same, same, same value. Yep. Unless you do, you do a triple bingo <laughs> at the same time. And so he's going to mark Cemetery Shades, which is like the next easiest square, which is good uh, at the very oh. least because he's not uh, committing to... That's five horses. Five horses for Eggie. GG's. He just needs one more. He can he can pick now, almost. What would you do? I would go for Mimic. Death Bird, Death Right Bird. No. Oh. But in this case, in this case, uh, Ag is going for Cemetery Shades because, like I said, it is the next easiest thing, but Bush is already mm -hmm. on it. Yeah. We have 22 minutes left on the clock. I still think it's Death it Bird, Death Right Bird. 12 to 6. Which means in these 22 minutes, Bushy would need to get six squares to get a, and snipe everything to get a tie. If Bushy wants to win, win here, he needs to get every single square in this time. All right, I'm turning into Aggie here. It's like tree spirits, tree avatars, tree bosses, horse bosses, trees and nulls. Radon is ridiculous. I feel like I'm waiting too long to hear more. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing happening. Well, he's gonna I get think we've definitely landed some snipes. Cemetery Shade should be sniped here in a second, though. Oh, there it goes. Which, I mean, cool for us. Oh! Okay, I just saw that. What is he, what is he picking snipes? now? Seems okay. like Bushy uh, is let's get out picking here. Mimic to you? Did he did he spawn there close to Limgrave? Yes. There are you guys down. happy? I was I was like twenty seconds too early. <laughs> Dude, I gotta work on this time. You timing did a great stuff. job, Domo there. You did a great job. Thanks. I think we all look at you and think, wow, um, that was great. You did your best. We heard him talking. Um Thanks. He's gonna go for Morgoth Great Rune, actually, it seems like. Uh, why is. is he going for more god great rune but just because he can have it just i mean okay you know what fair at this time he's not getting sniped right with that so he just thinks why not we're actually gonna see a restore more god's great rune can you believe it that's crazy that's crazy guys what a match Woo! it's not over yet <laughs> huh what do you mean you said what? Oh, like, I, I thought you were saying. Great match, not like I'm not wrapping it up. Oh, I, I don't know. I don't know. It's a great match to see, right? <laughs> just like, all right. 
That was pretty good. <laughs> all right, all right, let's go to the next. All right, all right, go. Wrap it up. Jumping in with the uh, jumping R2 into some R1s. Nice dodges here from Eggy. He's playing very aggressive. Needs to be careful here with the hits. Oh, oh. Tuning in again. Good rolls, good rolls, dude. I was just trying to see if the skeletons went around me or the guy I was targeting. I, I thought it was me. Oh! But it was worth a shot. Oh, oh, and I need to be, par be careful. He has three heal pots left, and Morgos HP is looking still full. Does he get the air attack? He does this. The oh, baby I'm blade. Not an asshole. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not exactly going fantastically. The thing is, he doesn't need to play, play that quick. He can really take his time. Yeah, seems like uh, maybe Eggy should check out that 40 pages died more from. And how to dodge. Throwing some Kukris to keep, to keep that poise damage up. Hmm. Oh, it doesn't get the good RNG of the slam down. Throwing Kukris. I'm wanting to go for an R2 here. Oh! Oh! It's it's smacked while throwing. Last heal pot is gone! Oh, oh, Aggie! Rest needs to be perfect. Come on! Oh, get oh. smacked by the camera! Oh, don't die. This is not looking good. Play safe, Aggie. Play safe. And Bushy going for death right birds right now. And gets caught by the fake blade attack. Oh Jesus! Oh yeah. Unfortunate, huh? Went for the good old wombo combo on that one. Look at death birds here. This is doing great. Who is doing great? The sacred blade. Oh. Doing great. No, you're doing great. We're turning into Bushy here. South. I think someone said, by the way, for this attack on the death, uh, the death threat bird, is that uh, it's always a star and it always points north. So if you run south, you should He's never get hit by that trail. Apparently. Really? That's apparently. crazy. So as soon as you see the bird pretty much hold its staff in the air and do the slam down attack, it runs south. Okay. Oh, nice stagger from Aggie here on Morgoth. There we go. NGGs, death right bird is dead. Square for Bushy. 12 day. 12 to 8. 12 to 8. Looking pretty good. Is he going for... Oh, he's going for the uh, the last tree spirit. Okay, okay. So he yeah. might be ending this match yeah. at 12-9. Which is still... That's, that's pretty damn good. I might go for every gels afterwards. No, may, no maybe 12-10. I mean, he still has, or he can still go for the ever gels or the mimic tier, right? So it's time. Yeah. I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. Aggie having six flasks now in phase two is definitely better than zero as he had before. Uh, gives him a little bit more survivability. Uh, especially if that I mean, flurry of daggers. I don't know. I, I don't want to curse anything, okay? Uh -huh. But there's still a chance that Aggie's failing here on Morgoth, which gives Bushy time to keep, keep up, and maybe it's a tie? But that, I don't want that to would be anything. insane. That'd be insane. 
That'd be, that'd be like almost like the choke of the century. Yep. Also, getting four squares uh, in 14 minutes, 13 minutes, I, I don't see very likely. And there it is. GG's yeah, to Aggie, right. by the way. Yeah. Uh, getting getting the Morgoth kill. So, he basically now just needs to move towards mountaintops, takes a quick ride in front of the elevator, kills the duo. He still needs to kill a duo boss. Uh, what are they called? The... the... Domo, help me. Help me, Domo, help me. Come Which on. one? Bring me the name. Duel fight. There's like, there's several Mom. duel fights. No, There's no, 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 for the Morgoth, for the Morgoth Great Rune. Oh, Fell Twins, Fell Omen Twins. Uh, that's what I mean, Fell Twins. Dude, the chat is faster than you, what happened? You, you dude, you said, yo, dude, kidding, stop, kidding, hey, stop. Yo, stop, give me, give me a duel fight. Hey, duel fight, hey, 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 give me a duel fight. Yeah, what you got, what you got, huh? Lands between, what you got, huh? Like, oh, wait, what am I, a circus monkey? I don't know, like, nah, it's, nah, it was just nah, trivia? You know that. come on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, what, hey, what are you, what are you doing, what are you doing, huh? What, what do you mean, Mario? What do you mean? You should know the name. <laughs> Holy anyway, shit. Anyway, he still needs to fight the Fell Twins, uh, which takes a little bit of a time. Um, it's very unlikely for Bushy in 13 minutes to get the Mimic tier, forever jails, and kill Rikard and restore the rune. Um, no, there's no way he's going to restore Rikard's great rune after ever jails. There's just not enough time. Yeah, it's not happening. Not yeah, enough time for that. It's just simply not enough time. Because, like, getting to Volcano Manor, killing Noble, getting to Rikard, killing Rikard, going to the tunnel, killing the Onyx Lord, go up the tower. That's like yep. 10 minutes. Too much. That's like 10 minutes. That's a lot. I think it goes for the averages. At least ending the match on 13-10, most likely. Still a good square amount for both players. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, a great match. Great, uh, great match from both of them. Lil Aggie and Bushy. Guys, make sure to follow both. Very strong gameplay. Like, very, very strong gameplay. Besides that one avatar smack. <laughs> but overall, <laughs> really, really good. That one of them has um, doesn't want Aggie to be on the elevator. <laughs> smacks him in the head. All the enemies today. The one in, the, the one in front of Ryo Lucaria, the Urchvi Avatar, that guy. They all hate him. Hey, get out of here. Back off. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, what, 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 other, what other ever jails uh, Bush is going to be going for? Blood on? Well, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Bloodhound probably, and then maybe Crucible Knight? Aiden? That or Zamor. I don't know how close he was. I mean, he, he got the... He got the Cemetery Shade and Weeping. Maybe he just goes to the Zamor and Weeping. Is it Aiden or Adon? Aiden, right? I don't know. I'm asking. <laughs> Aiden. Is it Aiden? Aiden or Adon, chat? Let's make a poll. One one Aiden two 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 Adan. Right now. Dude, they're saying Adan. One one dude. Aiden two two Adan. Adan? See? Look, I don't know how to pronounce shit. I hear everyone say Aiden. Adan, dude. Adan. Let's make it more dramatic. A dawn. Yeah, it's gotta be unique, dude. Ah, damn. <laughs> Radan. Radan, a damn. No, it's Radan. It's not Radan. It's Radan. It's Radan. Gina <laughs> says Radan is funny. Funny enough is, though, I found it so funny that I stopped saying it as well just for fun like that <laughs> there was another name that was weird Which oh one? yeah shifra right and siofra oh yeah, yeah, yeah hey if we all agree on lamberge then everything is fine lamberge 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 an, uh, no no not berge 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 lamberge berge <laughs> <laughs> if Aggie and Bushy are interested into the commentary and see us talking the shit, dude. 
got instant unfollow. <laughs> They're like, ah, come on, whatever. <laughs> There we go, capital outskirts, Aggie is now moving towards the... Fell Twin Maiden Huff, what's the name? Fell Twins! Fell Twins. Good old Fell Twins, man. Good old Fell Twins. We have nine minutes left, eight minutes, eight and a half. This should be enough time for Aggie to get the, the kill on this duo fight and uh, activate the tower. And then GG's majority win for Aggie. Oh, look at that. Rose's X is doing great here. The good thing on these bosses are you can just do a jumping R2 over and over and they always get staggered. Yeah. Which makes it then really, really easy. Unless they do the kick attack, apparently. They can poise yeah. through the kick uh, through with the, with a kick attack. Apparently also out of the jump. Oh, nice stagger on the explosion. Nice. Very nice. Is there a reason why it's so dark? Like, are they just coping four kings? Or what, what's the matter with that? I guess so. I don't know. And where's the light coming from? Where's the light coming from? Yeah, look. I mean, it looks like there's still a sun shining at them. I well, I'm assuming it's sun. like, uh, you know, kind of like in uh, in Bleach, where the one dude, the blind dude, does his bunkai, and then he has like the whole arena, mm -hmm. like, uh, blinded with, with uh, oh, yeah, sense yeah. and touch. Mm -hmm. Kind of like that, I think. Kind of Ooh, like that. Yeah, yeah. But you can still kind of see yourself. Bunkai. Bunkai. <laughs> there we go. There, there we, we go. go Walking up to the Morgoth Tower. God, these towers take forever. Yeah, it takes like it's like two minutes, I think. Man, that's horrible. What is wrong with the elevators, right? Like, don't do not do Shifra up to Divine Tower. Just make them faster. You guys have magic. Don't tell me you can make it quicker. I mean, it's isn't it already magical that it's an elevator that doesn't have anything? It just floats up from the the light beams on the side. Yeah, I mean, yeah, but the, like, why not faster, right? Maybe it's like a like uh, a maybe, headache maybe, thing, like five G. You know, they you... had it faster, right? And then they tested with some soldiers, and they got stomach sick. Yeah, that's it was what I'm too saying. fast. We were like, okay, let's keep it cool. Yeah, it's like five G. You know, when you're in a a, a jet yeah. or something, and then you throw up. Nope, oh. ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Bushy, I think going Aggie. for a mimic tier kill here. By the way. Versus Bushy gets to an end right now. Congratulations, Lil Aggie with the there majority win go. in the first match against Bushy. G Damn, geez. what a match. What a match. 13 to 10. Strong match from both of them. Really, it came down to the smallest decisions. Really. And and, and maybe the death on Radan, the Radan incident Radan incident for Bushy. Maybe decided something too. But yeah, wow. Congrats. Make sure to follow both of them, guys. They did a yeah, great match to today. Place. Let's see if we can get Eggy in here, right? First? No? Yes? I'm checking with them first. Checking with them if they're down for a post game interview. Aggie's All right. Me. Let me bring in uh, Aggie real quick. Yo, welcome in, Aggie. Yo. GG's good, sir. GG's. Oh, thank you, thank you. How's it feel? First dub, first match of the season? Feels pretty good. You know, gotta get off on the right foot. I think I played quite well. We only had a few memes, so yeah. I'm, I'm very satisfied. Oh, only only a few, yeah. Uh, <laughs> lot, lot, lots, of, <laughs> lots of things went a little sideways there. But uh, luckily, uh, that second match was uh, very enjoyable to watch. Um, for that diagonal, by the way. Did, were you eyeballing that from the beginning? Did you see that later on? Like, hey, I could actually kind of pressure this. What were your thought process there? Yeah, so at the very beginning, I was looking at row four, but then he got Commander O'Neill right away, whereas I went for Dectus ASAP because I think getting Dectus ASAP always pays off. So mm -hmm. I didn't really mind that too much, but at that point, then I was like, okay, well, I'll just get the fast squares. Like, I was surprised that he hadn't done consumables only by the time... 
I got invected, so I was like, okay, I guess he's not doing it, so I'll just go do that. Yeah. And then he hadn't done Bach by the time I did that, so I was like, okay, I'll just do that too. And then we went for the market parries, and then yeah, after that, the board had kind of developed a bit. I was expecting him to do Duelist, so I thought the diagonal wouldn't be an option, but then he didn't. So yeah, at that point, we were kind of eyeballing it. And I also saw that like he hadn't marked stuff for a while, so I was thinking he was possibly going for like a really sneaky row three play with like prepping the tree spirits and tree bosses and dragon hearts and like getting all the way to DTS or something. And then I just wouldn't be able to block any of those. So gotcha. at that point, then I switched gears mm -hmm. to kill gold free to get that offline. And then I was like, well, I'm already here. So like the diagonal is like a genuine option for me at this point. So yeah, we might as well try for it. No, a hundred percent. So I, so after that, uh, you, for the for the kill five bosses with tree in their name, after the earth tree, uh, what's it not earth tree, um, tree sentinel, you went for the earth tree in Leonia instead of the watchdog earth tree. Is there any reason why you're not just you know went to the catacomb for the quick watchdog? I kind of just forgot, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little, a little for gore, <laughs> A little no, for gore. Okay. Yeah, we were curious, yeah, but uh, it, it does happen under pressure sometimes where you just you forget, uh, you know bosses nearby uh, it's, it's super understandable um yeah, that happened yeah. but that was that, that was still a very very close match just in general uh especially radon uh i'm not sure how you felt about that but that was uh, a very very close race between the two of you uh, really okay yep yeah, uh, mostly because uh you were there first and then bushy got mm -hmm. there but then you went to go upgrade and bushy didn't so then he was in the lead but then Bushy Ooh. died, and then you got in the lead. <laughs> so it was, yeah, a, it was, was a very much a, a back and forth in that case. It was uh, very, yeah. very fun to watch. Man. Um, wow, that, okay, I can't believe that upgrade actually almost screwed me. Yeah, yeah. with that being said, I'm going to bring Bushy in, though, real quick, and uh, we can all uh, talk together here. Uh, Bushy, welcome in, man. GG's. What's up, guys? GG, Eggy. GG, Bushy. Zoom in. Bushy, uh, how, how do you feel overall about the match and uh, how things went uh, early game, mid game, late game? Um, I was pretty nervous. I was much more nervous than I thought I would be early game. Hmm. Um, and so I, that that definitely played into it a little bit. I had some nerves, had some execution mistakes, had some strategy mistakes. Um, but I mean, that, that's just all part of the process, right? I, I, I really didn't think I was going to be that nervous about it. Got more comfortable as it kept on going, um, and so uh, overall, I'm not I'm not super mad about how I played. Um, Aggie's just obviously a really hard competitor to beat. Yeah, no, I got gotcha. that. That's super fair. Um, how, how did you have a like a specific line in mind when you uh, started the match, or were you just kind of like maybe going for like a scatter shot strategy where you just grab whatever is the easiest at first to kind of gain some presence on the board? Uh, what was like, what was your thought process there? Um, I didn't, I didn't see any specific line, uh, immediately that I wanted to go for, um, just claiming early game squares for the most part. I liked the, like, Commander O'Neill into Dectus synergy, but, mm -hmm. uh, Aggie apparently went for Dectus right off the rip, uh, and I was messing up Celia Skip, as I said, had some nerves going. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That happens, though. I, dude, I, I, I was saying that, I think, yesterday, too. Uh, I, I don't know what happened, but I'm pretty sure... Uh, the mages and Celia lubed that branch because it's it's gotten harder. <laughs> I feel like uh, it's terrible. Um, so when it came to that diagonal, uh, in about I would say the mid game, I think after the duelist bosses, you kind of recognized that that diagonal oh, might it, be a it problem. It was before that. It was before that. Yeah, okay. I, I mean, yeah, I, I saw I saw that it he definitely could be could be threatening with it. Um, but I, I decided not to contest Duelist. I decided I was just going to go for a Dawn because that would lead into Mimic tier. That would give Altus access. Um, and I also wasn't like super concerned about the bingo threat because I knew the whole match I was threatening some sort of priority on Memory Stone. So I didn't think Aggie was really going to be going for that square until much later. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. And... Um... For, for so this is kind of like a, a more of a prediction on my end uh, the the back and forth with Morgoth's great rune obviously that once that square of Godfrey is marked uh, you both will be pivoting to memory stone which kind of happened um, 
uh, were you I'm assuming Aggie thought right away, okay, I have Gold Tree kind of showcasing that I already have presence. I already am ahead but when it comes to Morgoth. I'm going to go ahead and move off of that, try to guarantee the diagonal instead. Um, what, would you possibly have committed to Morgoth to try and call his bluff? Um, I think more and more now the strategy of pivoting off is becoming apparent that maybe some players will start to consider actually just committing to uh, a, a possible yeah, bluff. I I 100% thought Aggie was rushing memory stones at that point. I, I didn't even think it was a question. And, I, and honestly, I don't even think it was a, a consideration to go for Morgoth's great rune on, on Aggie's side. He was no, not really. far <laughs> enough ahead at that point um, that if he if he threatens the bingo, he's he's just perfectly fine. Memory stones is, is just a, a, a much better much better square to go for right there. Uh, th there's definitely situations where like going for that Morgoth's great rune can make sense. I don't think this was one um, Just because of how far down I was, you know, if I go to snipe that square I spend 30 minutes getting one square and I I yeah. have absolutely no prospects of winning Yeah, un understandable understandable um, uh, I Also for you Aggie, how did you feel about late game with um after memory stones being sniped uh did you just uh want to go for easier squares and kind of just go for majority right away or did you see that column five and then think maybe that you could just push that or just force that onto um force that column five onto bushy yeah at that point i just wanted to grab as many squares as possible as quickly as possible because i did have a majority lead and we were slowly creeping up on the time limit so like as long as i can just maintain a lead and just like make it a situation where you know, there's five squares left and I only need two to win or something like that. It would be pretty tough for me to to lose in that situation. But yeah, I mean, the fast squares happened to be in column five as well. So it was kind of like a double whammy. Like, OK, I can force him to do right cards yeah. and also get some squares for myself. So yeah, it just worked out well. Yeah. Super yeah. And I, I was right on your heels for the, the tree and the duper remembrance. I went for tree spirits first, which retrospectively, that's a mistake. Mm. Well, not even retrospectively. That that's just a mistake. They're not. They're, most of them aren't bosses. Uh, right. Yeah. That's oh. the tricky part because they're they're trees, but they're not tree bosses. Yeah. And a uh, question here for for Aggie, by the way. Uh, I'm I'm assuming this is the same uh, scenario with like the Earth Tree uh, Watchdog. Uh, when it came to uh, claws and daggers for remembrances. Uh, you only checked the dagger locations, but I didn't check the claws after the Gostock in Stormvale or even the claws in, in Roundtable. Is that just you didn't want to? Was it maybe uh, a time sink or too much of a time sink in your opinion? Uh, I didn't think of the Roundtable one. And I was aware there was a hook claw in Stormvale, but I couldn't think of where it was. So I was like, you know, I'll just do the dagger ones that, like, I definitely know where they are. Unfortunately, both daggers were terrible. Yeah. But we made <laughs> it work anyway. Unfortunately, yeah. I mean, you made it work with the with the bleed, at least. That was kind yeah. of decent. But it's if you if you follow the path, the secret path on Gostock, and you go basically inside of the wall, there goes then uh, wooden stairs up, and if you go left of it, it's it's in the in, in a corner it's it's very early actually okay yeah that probably would have been yeah. the wiser play yeah no that's super understandable though if you're not you know if you're not sure especially in a competitive match probably going something that you're sure about is, is always the best option um right but with that being said though guys uh, gg's on your first match any closing statements from either of you um i i my chat has told me I, and i it didn't affect the game at least from what i've, I've heard from the chat but Apparently the shops were different, so I I think I'm on the right version. I think you might be outdated by one version, Aggie, just so that it doesn't uh, maybe affect future game. Yeah, it, it didn't affect this game, at least from, from what I've heard. So Yeah, yeah, so okay. that that is one thing we were looking into, but it looked like, uh, luckily, uh, that you both went for the same weapon. It didn't affect the match. Um, I okay, think cool. if it would have been where <laughs> Aggie God. used a Dragon Halberd in his round table, that would have caused an issue potentially. But luckily, you both went for Rose's <laughs> Axe, so it pretty much was the same match regardless. Um, so I, I don't think this this match is in any way uh, washed. Um, I still think it's it's a yep. it, it's a as a final match. Uh, but yeah, I, I think I we have to have to make sure that all the players are uh, up to date on their on their mods. Um, I think the newest ones are, should be in the in the listing chat. But either way, it was still a great match.